Have you ever found that you looked in your cupboard into yourself, into your shed or anywhere else and realized there was things that you've been collecting and you're no longer using them and they're taking up space and it can be mental space, emotional space, physical space, wardrobe space if that might be precious or sheds or you might even be paying for a storage unit to hold stuff but they're no longer relevant in your life. You've moved on, you've changed, you've shifted. This is, it's so common, we all do it. And yet it has a really strong effect on all areas of our life. So I thought we could explore this today and I'll share a couple of tips, things that I've found at work in case you'd like to let anything go, declutter something. My name's Cassandra Punita James and this is one of my Courageous Living vlogs for you. This is about stepping up and stepping out and really sharing the biggest possibility for, that your life can be for you and what difference you can make in the world. So we collect things. We are acquirers. There is stuff that is super helpful to have um, that makes our home, our, you know, our lifestyle. A little breeze, I hope it's not too bad on the mic. Um, that makes it comfortable, makes it enjoyable. And yet some things, we, they, they become out of date. We don't leave them, use them, need them anymore. The Japanese used to have a, an expression of, if you hadn't used something through all four seasons, i.e. through a whole year, then, and it wasn't something that was like incredibly valuable, keeping it for that reason, or of um, enormous sentimental value, um, then why was it still in your life? Maybe it's time to pass it on. And stuff, we can get busy and stuff can collect. Now, a lot of people during lockdown started to actually look and go, wow, actually, I think I've probably got stuff I don't need anymore. Uh, maybe you did it, but there's always more. I live really lightly. I travel a lot and I keep my, the air, it's place, the space that I live in small. And even so, I still have to, a couple of times a year, go through things and just question them. So this could be, this, the way to do it is a way that is, you want to do it the easiest way possible. If you can, there's a couple of things. If you go through each thing that you're wanting to take out. So set yourself some time. So say I'm going to do this for 15 minutes, half an hour, an hour. Don't don't go and give yourself a whole day unless you're really like focused and you can handle it because there'll be the stuff that you'll be exploring that will have emotional links and then it might get overwhelmed and then you might drop the whole thing so instead set yourself a couple of half hours a week or half an hour a day or 10 minutes like a rhythm that is feels workable for you then go and pick and something that is like the biggest thing in your place that you think ah oh, maybe this is so large items because you'll get immediate result and probably once where it's the, it's the closest where you go okay they're, they're almost heading out the door pick them up and just feel them and just go is, is this still relevant for me do i actually still like it do i still love it do i or is it practical do i still use it would i use it in the next year or am i holding on to it for sentimental value um, maybe it's clothes and you'd like to wear them again, fit them again, either way. Um, or you think that maybe that there's a job or there's some situation that you might use them in and yet you're not now. Now you could go, okay, that things could change. You could have work outfits and you go, yeah, I could use those again and need them again in six months. Great. We'll set them aside. but. If you haven't used them for a long time, then question this because it's really easy to just go, oh, okay, no, I'm sure I'll need that. And if you haven't used something for a while or if you pick it up and it's like you're not feeling love for it anymore, you're not, it's not feeling you, it's not true to you now, then what are you doing with it? Okay, and then the important part I find is to really acknowledge th what it was for you at the time you did get it or used it and like almost like pack it, yeah? For its journey with you, however long that's been. And then pass it on to 
something new. Now these days you could possibly you could put it up on Facebook Marketplace, eBay. You can make a little money from it. You could. There are other people who can sell stuff for you if you've got a lot of stuff and you don't have time. But you could just give it away, put it into, give it to a charity shop, pass it on to someone else, and give it a new life. Because at the moment it's not. It's like. The thing is, understanding that this is stale energy. It's This thing is not moving. It's sitting in your life. It's sitting somewhere within you. And it's got no movement. And everything needs movement in life. Everything with us is always, inside us, is moving. Okay? Even when we're sitting in stillness and we might feel really calm or still or lying in the sun at the beach or sleeping at night, our heart is still pumping, our lungs are still breathing, energy is still flowing around the channels in our body. So movement is life. And if we have things that are sitting in our life that aren't moving, there's not great energy for us, for them. I mean, they're an inanimate object, but it's not a good energy for us. So my challenge would be take some space, Start with the physical stuff, start with the biggest, and go and give yourself some time and make it rewarding. Like, really, like, feel good, feel proud of yourself. Maybe photograph the space that you clear before and afterwards, share it with a friend, even put it up on social media, or just show it to yourself. And it's like, yay, I did that. And you might even do it each time you do it. You just go, one thing, you might clear one thing. And that's fantastic. So acknowledge every little step you take with it. Do it regularly and really question because what happens if you do this, you will open up space for new possibilities in your life. It helps the flow of energy. So therefore it can help your health. It can help your heart. It can help love, it can help work, it can help money. These are all energy. These all need flow of energy. So, if you take some space and you declutter some stuff and you let it go out of your life because it's no longer valid, then watch for the new, the possibilities that could arise. So have fun with this. If you'd, um, if you'd like this, um, then uh, click below and come and join on my Facebook page if you haven't already because I've been sh I'll be sharing lots more of uh, Facebook Lives on there as well as other tips and I look forward to seeing you soon. Ciao!